Hey guys, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So we just got some new information about the transforming Vegeta that's dropping on both Global and JP sometime within the next, I'd say three to five days. And of course, these leaks come courtesy of Team Dokener on Twitter. So thank you very much to Team Dokener for that. And also a big thank you to Zavari on the Dokon subreddit for providing the translations from French to English. It was a huge help. And I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but thank you very much, Zavari. But why don't we just jump right into it, guys? And we're gonna start from the very top. By the way, we do have some information about another new Vegeta and also two upcoming EZAs, but let's start from the thing that I think most people are hyped about, which of course is the transforming Vegeta. And as it turns out, he's gonna be a pure Saiyans category lead. E plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. So of course, that's a great leader skill. It's a more balanced version of the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta we currently have, who gives uh, 130 to attack and 170 to HP and defense. And of course, it's quite a bit better than the EZA Broly, who gives 120 across the board. But at the same time, I think a lot of people, including myself, are hoping for either a brand new category that we've never seen before, or a dual category leader skill. So something like Pure Saiyans and Realm of Gods would have been awesome, because we haven't gotten a... We haven't gotten a second Realm of Gods category lead, I think, at least Dokkan Fest wise. So that would have been awesome. But either way, Pure Saiyans is great. And uh, I do want you guys to know or keep in mind that this information isn't final. And Team Dokkan always says, you know, take everything with a grain of salt because things could change between now and the actual release. So for all we know, he could still be a dual category lead, but for the time being, it's just going to be Pure Saiyans. It's a good leader skill, but it's nothing we haven't really seen before, right? Let's get into his passive skills now, and we don't have all the information for all his forms. If you guys aren't aware, he goes from Super Saiyan 1 to Super Vegeta to Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan God, and finally Super Saiyan Blue. We just have the information for Super Saiyan 1 and Super Saiyan Blue at the moment. So in his first form, which is Super Saiyan 1, he'll get attack and defense plus 80% and attack plus 6% per key orb obtained. Not too bad. And in his final form, things get a little crazy. So. <laughs> He will have attack and defense plus 120%, which is already pretty good, and attack plus 10% per key orb obtained, even better. And he changes every key orb on the board to physical, once only. So it's not like every time he comes back, it's gonna be a full board of physical, but the first time he transforms, the whole board is gonna turn into physical orbs. And if you do the math, I believe, I believe a full board in Dokkan is 23 orbs. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but <laughs> I literally went into my game and just manually counted how many orbs are on the board. So I got 23. 23 times 10, that's 230% additional attack on top of the 120 he already gets. So he's going to hit extremely, extremely hard that first time that he transforms. Um, and then after that, he's going to be still solid. You know, 120% attack and defense is nothing to scoff at and uh, he'll still get that 10% attack per key orb obtained every single turn. So he's going to be a pretty decent nuker in that sense, and uh, I'm sure he's going to tank pretty well. And we don't know anything else about his stats or um, anything else like that, but from what I can see, he's going to be a pretty solid unit. I'm just hoping that they're going to do a lot more with his super attacks than they did with the transforming Goku and the transforming Vegeta. Sorry, the transforming Frieza because those ones, as I've already stated, I felt like they were pretty lazy. But for this guy, I really hope that they give him brand new super attacks across the board, all the way from Super Saiyan 1 to Super Saiyan Blue. It's not likely, because I feel like that's a lot of effort and a lot of time that maybe Bandai is not willing to put into it, but you know what, one can hope, right? Fingers crossed. So that's the uh, transforming Vegeta for you guys. We don't know everything, but I think we know enough to kind of have an idea of what he can do. And uh, if I were to make a prediction, we don't have the forms for, or the passives for form two, three, and four, right? But I mean, just based on the numbers, I'd say uh, Super Vegeta is gonna have attack and defense plus 90% and key attack plus 7% per key orbs obtained. And then uh, for the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, it's gonna be attack and defense plus 100%, attack plus 8% per key orb obtained. And then for Super Saiyan God, it's gonna be attack and defense plus 110% and attack plus 9% per key orb obtained. This is just a prediction, but it would match the pattern. It would make sense. So uh, maybe mark that down somewhere and see if I was right. <laughs> but anyways, that's the Super Vegeta. Sorry, that's the transforming Vegeta for you guys. 
Uh, let me know what you think and let me know if you guys are more hyped or less hyped now that you know what he does. And let's move on now to some other stuff. So we are also getting a new Super Vegeta who I assume is just going to be a non Dokkan Fest exclusive that's going to be coming as part of the Transforming Vegeta banner on both versions. And he's going to get int types, key plus 3 HP, attack and defense plus 90%. So a very solid int type leader there. And his passive is actually pretty wild. So attack and defense plus 80% off the bat, plus an additional attack and defense plus 120% depending on HP remaining. The higher the HP, the better the boost. So when you're at full HP, this guy's going to have 200% attack and defense. If they're actually calculated differently, like separately, it could be even higher than that, maybe like 220, 240, something like that. I don't know how the math works exactly on that stuff, but that's crazy. <laughs> that's absolutely crazy. And guaranteed critical if an Android category enemy is present. So, I mean, that's very situational, of course, a very niche uh, part of his passive. But I mean, having a guaranteed critical against Androids is good. But even without that, yo, he gets an insane boost on his attack and defense. So uh, that Super Vegeta is going to be a nice consolation prize for people who don't pull the transforming Vegeta. Now, knock on wood, knock on wood, right? Fingers crossed. Like, I don't want anybody to get shafted and not pull the transforming Vegeta. But if you don't and you end up pulling only this guy, he's actually a very, very nice constellation prize because he's going to do a lot of damage. It's going to be a very good tank. So that's cool right there. And two new EZAs, as I said. So the first one is a Super Saiyan Trunks EZA, uh, Future Trunks. So I'll show you guys which one I'm talking about. Uh, this one right here. So a Will Beyond Time Super Saiyan Trunks, the physical one, is getting an EZA. And I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be both Global and JP, but since we're getting Transforming Vegeta on both versions, I would assume that it's dropping on both Global and JP as well, the EZAs, but I could be wrong. So for the time being, just stay tuned for more information about that. But this guy right here, his passive, is going to make him a very solid support unit, key plus two attack and defense plus 30% for all allies and in addition he'll get attack and defense plus 70% if two or more Vegeta's lineage category allies are present. So not a bad EZA right there. Before I believe he was just a support unit. Let me check real quick. Um, in the past he yeah, has only attack and defense plus 25% for all allies so quite a big boost to his support capabilities and in addition he can actually do some damage and tank a little bit if you have two or more Vegeta's lineage category allies present and uh, I'm not sure if the two or more Vegeta's lineage category allies can include Trunks himself but either way it's definitely a huge upgrade to this unit so there's the Super Saiyan future Trunks for you and the other EZA we're getting is the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and I believe it's the tech one right here Bonds Beyond Time Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta so that guy's getting an EZA and his passive is going to be key plus 2 attack and defense plus 90% so very solid there and attack and defense plus 30% for all allies if two or more Vegeta's lineage category allies are present so it's kind of like the opposite of Trunks where Trunks is starting off as a very good support and then can become somewhat of a damage dealer and tank if you have two or more Vegeta's lineage category allies on team whereas this Vegeta starts off as you know somewhat of a damage dealer and a tank but becomes a support if you have this condition met. So those are the two EZAs that are coming guys. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's just going to be JP for now or both JP and Global at the same time. It would make sense to me for Global to get it as well because we're getting the Transforming Vegeta too, but you never know with these things. So <laughs> stay tuned guys. But that's all the information I have in this video. The Transforming Vegeta is going to be pure Saiyans, possibly a second leader skill as well, but from what we know right now, it's just going to be that. He's definitely going to be a very good unit. And for now, I'm just excited to see what his super attacks look like and also what his banner is going to be. Because all of that is going to factor into whether or not I personally will be summoning for him. Because right now, I'm still undecided. But I am curious to know what you guys are thinking. Are you planning to summon for this transforming Vegeta? Or are you going to continue to save for the fourth year on global or whatever big thing is around the corner on JP. Let me know in the comments down below and that's gonna do it for the video guys. As always, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, also hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's it, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.